back, folks, to Let's Play Loom. When we come back, I'm going to save the universe, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna do this by going into holes and using one power that we've managed to get the ability to use, which is healing, very much constantly. But first, we need to go and uh, do things that we haven't done before. Like go to the hole here. Oh yeah, you're, you're kind of dead, aren't you? Oh. Rusty? Hello. Is that you? Y you don't look at all well. I'm not well. Actually, I'm dead. Oh. I don't... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say a thing. What do I matter? I'm just another one of the dead. Oh, Rusty. I feel terrible. And I didn't that's know. that's not even the end of it. Oh. I'd go outside to wait for doomsday, like a good little ghost scene. But no sooner do I get settled again, but some stupid idiot shreds the universe apart and hauls us all back inside. There are a lot of very unhappy dead wandering around here, let me tell you. I know, I was there when it happened. I might have known this was all your fault. No, no it wasn't me. The bishop managed this one all on his own. Yeah, well, there's going to be hell to pay, literally. Oh. There's talk among the dead that they're going to take over the world, starting with the forge. My home, where we used to build strong things, good things. Oh. Well, there's something we could do about that. We can heal you. We can heal you, buddy. You don't have to be dead. I can save you. By the way, this, this spell has no reverse. You can't unheal someone. ACCA, no reverse. You did it. Yep. You brought me back. Yep. It is what you wanted, isn't it? Believe me, being alive is a lot more fun than being dead. Yep. But how did you do it? Well, healing your body was easy. You're alive because the pattern is torn and your soul was free to return to this side. Well, I must go, Bobbin. I've got to know what happened to the rest of my guild. And I must do the same. Good luck, Rusty. And be careful. Good fortune to you too, my friend. I totally forgive you for getting me murdered and eaten alive by a dragon. But, uh, now we can heal this hole. This hole's done. And that's one hole down. I wonder what happened to all the shepherds. I bet they all died horribly as well, but at least that one wasn't my fault. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. You are too late, wizard. The dead have increased their numbers here. Those not dead are suffering. And my songs were again useless. Oh. All that's left for us is to put an end to their misery. Come and extend your help. If you can. Oh, she's so sad. Look at her. Well, I can't extend their suffering, but I can heal their hearts and yours. Please, what became of us? I was just walking among legions of dead. You were saved by the mercy of yonder boy. We have not had the chance to thank you properly, wizard. But our memories are long, and we will not forget you soon. Hail and farewell. Come along now, before the dead ones return to the harvest. Well, that one's saved. That's two holes cleared up. Still one more, though. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this one... This one, well, I figured out how to get this up now. This one is going to be a little tricky, so... I'm going to save here. We need to heal the guy that's here immediately, else he will die. Yes, it's time to enter Crystal Guard. It's time to click him, and it's time to heal him right now. Don't let him talk. Just heal him. Master Goodmold. Ah, oh, the Weaver Boy. At least you have escaped the terror of the Dead One. It appears the Crystal Guard has not been so fortunate. But I don't understand. Why did you not use the Great Scythe? Good question. We never doubted the Scythe could save us. Yes. Never, never no, indeed. <laughs> Even chaos must fall under its blade. But? But we could not do it. To unleash such merciless evil would show us to be no better than our enemies. The entire world would have feared us when it was done. And to have become so much like our enemy was unthinkable. <laughs> Just Why didn't my healing work? And so you didn't use it. We knew the price. The best we could hope for was to defend it bravely. But we are not warriors. You mean... Chaos stole the side? Oh dear. We did what we could, but it was not enough. <laughs> Remember us, my young friend. Tell the word. But we fought with courage and chose death with clarity. Above all else, clarity. Oh. You're dead. I honestly thought I could save you, buddy. But, clearly, it was not to be. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Ah! We learned B! That's the last hole. Now, let's go find Hetchel. Yes, let's go find Hetchel indeed. I think. She's further west. Past this little lake. Gotta wonder why the dead don't pass to these guys. Can I just keep going? Bye! Don't mind me levitating through the universe. Ah, there's a little. F ah ha ha! Oh. I suppose this is a good place as any to appear. Yep, let's uh huh? let's walk quickly. Oh, you're using the forge as a kind of evil thingy to transport. Yeah, no wonder we're walking quickly. Ah, here we go. Mind yourself, Bobbin. Get your distaff ready. You must unmake the loom now before chaos takes control. Hello, chaos. What? How? I don't know what draft to use. <laughs> Birds and children have no business weaving in such power. Weavers are the only ones who do have the right to use this power. Destiny has blessed you, young threadbare. For you alone will live on to pass your guilt secrets to others more worthy of this. Ha! I invite you to serve my new empire as advisor. Nope! Me? You? Advisor? Of course. I will expect your full cooperation in this historic exchange of goodwill. After all, anything else may bring harm to our relationship. Hmm. Don't listen to her, Bobbin. Heed me now. Here are the threads that will unmake the loom. Uh. Silence. Oh. Oh. Hitchell, 
Say something, please. I need that draft. Enough! I lose patience in the presence of inferior beings. You will now instruct me in the use of this fascinating instrument. Over my dead body. Preference note. Oh goody! Hedgehog can't speak. A beak moves, but there's nothing, not a sound. Well, that's okay, because the loon remembers drafts that are used in it. Let's, let's ask it. B, A, G, F is silence. So therefore, if I use that backwards... A beak moves, but there's nothing, not a sound. F, G... Nope, oh, no, ba ba ba. Whoops, I've screwed that up. I need to choose my drafts more carefully. Yes. F, G, A, B. Bingo! Now you can talk again! Tell me the draft. <coughs> oh, thank goodness. Now, Bobbin, quickly, the thread you need a. Ducks are meant to be eaten. Not heard. Oh, now no. you are a chicken. I believe we were discussing <coughs> the secrets of the loo. Oh, that's a chicken. And that's not helping. Oh look, let's learn another. Let's learn another one, shall we? B, F, B, F. That's shaping. So if we use that in reverse, you're not doing this very well, are you, Chaos? That is unshaping. Uh, close your eyes now, Bobbin, but keep your ears open. Here descends the third shadow. That bird has annoyed me once too often. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're casting something bad, aren't you? What's gonna happen here? Now, my esteemed advisor, where were we before we were so rudely distracted? Hetchel's black feather. She left one behind. And so she did. I think I shall keep it as a souvenir of our little encounter. What? I want that feather. Give it to me. My, my. Impudent art. Yes. <sighs> I advise you not to approach me too closely, weaver boy. Well, you left one very bad thing in your mu in, in the loom. You left the weaving of unmaking. It had Inadvertently, by destroying Hetchel. You've given me the one weapon I need to do it myself. <laughs> Screw you, Chaos! Bobbin, Bobbin, you did it! I did? The loom is unmade. Excellent. You ignorant fools! Do you comprehend what you have done? Yes. None of us can pass across this with your weaver mischief has so blindly created. Yep. Your pious meddling has brought the end of my dream. Yep. You will hear for all eternity the cries of those you have abandoned, Bobbin Threadbear. Meh, meh, meh. You will always know that you have left them under my rule. Oh, yeah. We abandon no one. When our side of the pattern is mended, we will return and put an end to your evil. Yep. Come, Loon Child. It is time for us to begin our destinies anew. And we have learned the final step. We don't see. I was close, but not close enough. Leaving so soon, Weaver? I was looking forward to spending more time with you. Hmm. Well, 
There's not much more we can do now. She, he's thrown away the thing. There's only one more thing we can do. Look at myself. And change everything. Well, it was good being a human. Fly away while you can, young threadbare. And know that we will most assuredly meet again. I am ready, Mother. Let's go. Let's take half the universe away with us. I'm really not kidding. Let's take the universe away. For fortunately, these people are going to be okay. And that's the end of Loom! I'm not kidding. That's it. That's the end of Loom, people. It's not a very long game. It's a beautiful game now. Very beautiful. And I've been waiting for a while to do it. Thanks for all those testers. Much appreciated that you tested this game. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Hey, there are all the voice actors. So, what comes after after Loom? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm sure there will be something. There always is, isn't there? Not an unwinnable point and click adventure game. Not one where you can die. But one with a very beautiful story. And in the end, that's the story that is the most important thing, isn't it? Seeing what goes on. I'm sure if you look up the 30 minute audio introduction cassette thing, you'll be able to find it somewhere. Those sort of things are always present somewhere. How long are these? Ah, the CD Scum system. Yes, because this game was ported to Scum VM, I think. Special thanks to those people. And Commodore! Ah, yes, because there was a Commodore version of this game. There was a Commodore version. To George Lucas! Yes, it was made LucasArts. Lucasfilm Games production. Thank you very much. At Skywalker Ranch. In 1990. Well, the end indeed. Thank you very much, folks. Until then, until then. I'll catch you later. See you then.